I don't like loofahs. I don't. I think they're gross. I really do. I don't shower with them. I don't use them in the bathtub. I just don't use them at all. I don't buy them. And even honestly, when I get them as gifts, I usually give them away to other people who I know use them. This is one that I have lying around. It's brand new, never been used. I don't like them. And I'm going to tell you why I don't like them. Now, you guys know me. I'm team washcloth over here. I got a million of these bad boys in all sorts of colors, shapes, and sizes. I like washcloths. Now, there are some of you that are going to say washcloths are gross. I don't like washcloths. Okay, okay, I hear you. But let me explain why I really don't like loofahs and why I like washcloths better. Okay, you guys know, by the way, I'm Dr. Jen. It's good to see you. I do many videos on all sorts of things, including hygiene. I do videos on hygiene because as a family doctor, I get lots of questions about hygiene and so many other things. And I examine people. And sometimes, you know, I notice we need to talk about hygiene. So here we go. Now, I don't like loofahs because um, they got all these little crevices in here. I mean, like, like you can't really see well here, you know, but you know what loofah is. And by the way, they come in different shapes and sizes. Sometimes Sometimes you can get like the natural loofah where it's like a like kind of like a three-dimensional like kind of cylinder like uh sometimes there are the synthetic um plastic kind of loofahs the puffy puffball loofahs right sometimes there's this kind i mean they come in all different shapes and sizes right so by the way i do want you to tell me if there's a certain loofah that you use that you like and i i know that you guys use loofahs because you send me messages all the time um let me know by the way if i'm just missing out on a certain type of loofah but i'll why i don't like them is that they can trap a lot of gunk in these little fibers i mean yeah yeah, they're good for exfoliating. That's what a lot of you guys have told me. And I totally agree with you. But by the way, sometimes these things can be rough on your skin, depending on how sensitive your skin is. But the other thing is dead skin cells and dirt and crud and stuff can get stuck in here and create a great environment and breeding ground for bacteria and all sorts of blah. Now, um, now I, I do believe that that type of environment can be avoided uh, if you wash and sanitize your loofah but I'll be honest with you, I never hear anybody talking about washing and sanitizing their loofah. I just see them hanging in bathrooms and showers or whatever people say and they're using them. That's my main issue with them is that stuff gets stuck and it can really sort of harbor bacteria, etc. Now, you're probably saying, but Dr. Jan, but you got a wash towel and those can be equally as gross. Okay, let's talk about it. Now, I will not deny that if you let a wash towel stay hanging in your shower for days on end, weeks on end, ew, um, and you use it over and over and over again, ew, and you just let it stay in that human environment without washing it, yeah, that's not good, okay? That can become totally a breeding ground for grossness, right? But I do like that wash towels don't seem to have the same spaces that some loofahs have to be able to trap things. Again, have I done any studies, head-to-head -head studies on wash towels versus loofahs? No, I have not, but this is just how I feel inside. Um, but the other thing is wash towels, I feel, are a bit easier to wash and clean. And in fact, many of you guys have written to me about how you do things. Many of you, you will use white wash towels for your face um, uh, or certain parts of your body because many of you say you can bleach them, which is very true. You can throw them in the wash, etc. Even if they're colored towels like this one, they can obviously still be washed and be washed conveniently and easily. And I tend to feel that these tend to stay cleaner. I also like the way that they wash me. And I don't like the idea of like loofah-ness, like stuff getting stuck in the loofah. Now, I know you guys are going to tell me how you feel about this. And I know there's a lot of team loofahs out there. That's why I'm doing this video is because I do actually want to know if there's something I'm missing. But I also want to tell you why I'm just not really crazy about these. And they come in different varieties and shapes and forms and stuff like that. Um, but that's just why I'm not so crazy. It's just like the sort of... Um, how the fibers can be and also they can be rough on your skin uh depending on your skin type let me know okay um i do plenty of hygiene videos you know i'm a fan make sure you wash behind the ears the belly button in the armpits between the legs you know in your backside all that kind of stuff make sure you get everywhere you need to get let me know if you're team loofah or team washcloth or maybe your team both let me know why also write in the comments i'm dr jen for those of you on facebook please like and follow my page for those of you who send stars i respond personally thank you so much in advance on youtube please subscribe to my channel click the little bell for updates also also, go to my website at drjencoddle.com to check out my newsletter, my blog, um, more hygiene videos. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. Talk to you soon.